The U.S. intelligence community published its annual threat assessment last month, saying that Azerbaijan's calibrated military pressure is a means to advance its goals in ongoing peace talks with Armenia. According to the report, relations between Armenia and Azerbaijan are likely to remain tense and occasionally volatile in the absence of a peace treaty, given the proximity of military forces at the interstate border and the lack of a ceasefire enforcement mechanism. Moreover, the report described Azerbaijan's attack on Armenia proper last Last September as a coordinated attack in multiple locations, in multiple locations along the border during which Armenian territory was seized. The report went on. Since May 2021, military clashes have occurred regularly at the interstate border and around the Nagorno-Karabakh region. The most intense flare-up took place in September 2022, resulting in nearly 300 military deaths. Peace talks have made some progress, but the most challenging issues related to state borders and the future of Nagorno-Karabakh are far from being resolved, the report read in part. During a press briefing, U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said Washington will continue to work with Yerevan and Baku to support their efforts at dialogue and diplomacy. In response to a reporter's question about the intelligence community's findings, Price said that the U.S. will continue to work through all appropriate mechanisms to help these countries themselves conduct to diplomacy and reach the agreements that we hope they will be able to make. Meanwhile, Christina Kavin, the newly appointed U.S. ambassador to Armenia, visited the entrance of the Lachin Corridor in Armenia's southern Sunik region today. The Lachin Corridor contains the only overland route between Armenia's Sunik region to Nagorno-Karabakh. The route has been blockaded by Azerbaijan for nearly 90 days, prompting severe shortages of food, medicine and energy in the region. According to the U.S. Embassy's Facebook page, Sunik Governor Robert Rukasian accompanied Ambassador Kavin to the area where the corridor out of Armenia starts and explained the humanitarian consequences of the blockade. This is the first visit by a U.S. ambassador to the area of Sunik where the Lachin Corridor begins. In a statement, Ambassador Kavin reiterated U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken's repeated calls for the immediate reopening of the road. Russian ambassador to Armenia Sergei Kopirkin visited Gerard Kunik today for talks with Governor Sarkisyan. As tensions persist, Armenia's defense ministry reported that Azerbaijani army units opened fire at Armenian positions in the Verin Shorja area in Armenia's eastern Gerard Kunik region yesterday afternoon. No casualties were reported as of now, and the situation is relatively stable on the border.